Alrighty, so I, I believe the model number for the kit is KC18DBFL2C. I believe that is the model number for the kit. It says it's a lithium ion lifetime tool warranty. Two years for the, for the batteries, I'm assuming. These do accept Metabo multivolt. So I'm actually curious if the 16, uh, the 36 volt batteries would actually work with these. Hopefully I didn't cut anything. I don't think so. Oh, I guess it, it comes with a hard case, not a bag. That is the hard case, which I'm actually disappointed a little bit because I wanted a bag. I like bags a lot better than hard cases. All right, this is the case. It is, uh, it's actually a pretty durable case for the size of it. The inside, the, the middle doesn't cave in that much. So let's open it up. And there you go. You got uh, instructions and warranty. Here's the charger. It is a 14.4 volt to 18 volt charger. It does have a cooling system and it gives you an arrow on which direction to put the battery in. You cannot mount it on the wall. And like I said, this is model number UC18YFSL. It's UL Energy Verified. So that is the charger. The speed selector is on the side right here. This is a triple hammer anvil for the impact driver. All right, so this is what the old design is. There are two arms on the anvil and then two points of contact on the hammer. On this one, I guess there are three points of contact on the hammer and three arms that are on the anvil. So that'll be interesting to test out to see how all that goes against the other brands that only have a standard uh, hammer with anvil. When it comes to the grip, uh, the grip uh, feels a bit tacky, if you will. It is a brushless motor. So yeah, it does have a quick insert collet. It does not, you need to adjust the collet for it to go in. So the model number for the impact driver is WH18DBDL2. 18 volt system, cordless impact driver. Uh, this goes up to maximum up to 2900 RPMs. And it does not say anything else for the impacts. But yeah, it is a brushless motor and that is the impact driver. We will be testing that out. I will be putting the batteries on charge just in case if they're not full. So the impact driver is a quarter inch hex collet. It has two speed settings on speed one, zero, zero to 900 RPM and on speed two, zero to 2,900 RPM and 4,000 beats per minute, 1,832 inch pounds of torque and the tool weight with a three amp hour battery is 2.9 pounds. And this is the hammer drill. It does come with a double ended uh, drill bit. All right, so this is the brushless Metabo HPT hammer drill. The model number for this is DV18DBFL2, 18 volt system. This has uh, two speed settings, low and high. That's low, that's high. It has a 22 point clutch, plus two, which the plus two is hammer and drill. Anything outside of that is just screw. Half inch fully metal chuck, which that's, <clears throat> that's good to have on a hammer drill. Speed one is zero to 400 RPMs and on speed two is zero to 1800 RPMs. It doesn't say the torque, I'll put the torque in right now. All right, on speed one, it is zero to 6,000 beats per minute and on speed two, zero to 27,000 and it is 620 inch pounds of torque. Tool, the tool weight with the battery, with the three amp hour battery is 3.7 pounds. And so, yeah, uh, the same thing, the grip feels a bit tacky. So like if you're sweating, you're, that's definitely gonna be like a sticky grip. I'm gonna put these batteries on charge, make sure that they're full, and so we'll get to it. All right, so let's see how these actually are. The batteries are full. Uh, I'm gonna assume that the battery indicator, it has two bars, which that doesn't help. This is the first video that we are actually doing with these, so we will actually see how these are and sort of like uh, get the feel for them. And we will be doing versus videos in the future and see how well these actually perform against the other brands. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so let's do uh, six inch specs. Let's see in how well this is. I think. I 
I think uh, it has two speed settings, then it has two settings for precision. It has slow and just P. So let's just do speed two. Ready? Go. Time. I'm wondering if that triple hammer inside is slowing it down a little bit. Yeah, it has more beats per minute, but if you added a third hammer to that anvil, then it would actually, it won't be able to build up momentum as well as a two-sided hammer. So, because it, it's always hitting, so the buildup so that triple hammer might actually be slowing it down. All right, so let's uh, take it out. Ready? Go. I think that's on speed too. This is my first time using Metabo, so forgive me guys. New brand, new settings for me, so we'll see how this goes. Let's do an eight inch timber lock. Ready, go. Time, it does seem slow, but also we are using a three amp hour battery. And from the size of it, I would say that these batteries have 18650 cells, 54 watt hours, three amp hour batteries. So, so yeah. So if we increase the battery size, it might actually increase power, but this is just to test out this kit. Let's take it out. Ready, go. Time, it does seem slow. It does seem slow. We'll do a four inch uh, lag. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. It's able to do a four inch lags. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. No, I do want to test out that. I do want to test out the precision or self tapping mode, if you will. Let's see. The precision is highlighted as blue. Let's go with the P first. Let's see how this acts. Ready, go. Time, and we're gonna judge that time on the against the first uh, time it did this lag. All right, ready, go. Time, let's do that one more time with this on S. We'll see what this does. We're also going to, uh, I'm going to add all three times when it comes to this timber, uh, this timber lock. Ready? Go. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, all right, we don't need to add that. That's major, major precision. Let's take it out with that back on P. Ready? Go. Let's put it all the way in. All right, let's take it out. Time. All right, let's move on to the hammer, the hammer drill. The hammer drill does have its own battery. Battery is full, so we'll put it on high. It's on drill, fully, like I said, half inch fully metal chuck. Let's do very quickly a uh, eight inch timber lock, then we'll do a half inch. Then I want to do uh, the four inch lag, then a speed board, then we'll do the hammer feature. Right here is good. All right, ready? Go. That, that did seem slow. It is on a uh, high speed. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. It requires speed uh, speed one or low. We will do both a four inch lag and a six inch lag with this. 
Remember, it's only a three amp hour battery, uh, so I'm not expecting too much from it just yet. Right here is good. Up, no handle. Uh, I just realized this doesn't come with a handle, which most hammer drills do come with a handle, but not this. Ready? Go. Time did it easily. And that's why a handle is good. So like, cause it, it, my wrist wouldn't go like that cause your handle will prevent that. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Not too shabby. It, it did it. Let's uh, do a six inch. All right, ready? Go. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, it cut out. All right, uh, we're gonna see if we can do it uh, even more. I wanna go on this side. See this side, have my body stop it. Ready, go. Nope, uh, yeah, it did it. It did do it. Uh, let's take it out. Did it. Not too shabby. These are brushless tools. Now, when it comes to this, I feel that the, those vents that are there, I don't think that's good enough. I could see this heating up because those, those, that's not enough ventilation right there. Those need to be completely open. Alrighty, we have a one and a quarter inch speed board. It is on high speed or speed two. It is on drill. Battery is still full. Right here is good. We're just gonna test out one more tester coming in the future, you guys. I'm just getting a feel for the tool and to show you like what this cool tool is capable of doing. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, that's interesting. That's, that's not good. All right, so I guess this, let's try it again, just in case. Ready, go. Alrighty, so that, that it might be the battery or it might be the tool, do not know. Let's put it on, this does require speed one for uh, one and a quarter inch speed bore. So let's see what this can do on speed one. We're just gonna have it finish uh, the first hole. Ready, go. Time. All right, I will say this does, this, like I said, it might be the battery, but this does not impress me by any means. Now, like, do they, uh, Metabo does have a 36 volt line. This is their 18 volt, you know, so the 36 volt might be their higher end uh, line. And so I'm not sure. Metabo also does have a much darker green brand, so I'm not sure what class this is for Metabo. But yeah, it's the Metabo HPT line, I guess. So yeah, uh, let's see how well this hammer feature actually is. We're gonna drill out a half inch hole. Does the hammer feature work? <coughs> yes, it does. Ready, go.
So yeah, I think I pretty much got it. So when it comes to these two tools, I'll make a quick judgment based on the three amp hour batteries. The impact driver is pretty decent, but this hammer drill, like it did smell like it was burning a little bit. 108, 100, 125. That chuck is hot. The chuck itself is 115, 121, 122. Now for the tasks, 131. So the task that I had this do, this got majorly hot. A lot of other tool brands uh, stayed cooler with doing more. And so, yeah, but this hammer drill doesn't impress me. It should come with a handle because it, you really need a handle when it comes to hammer drills or doing hard tasks with the tool. When it comes to the impact driver, I honestly think the three-ended anvil is actually limiting this to what it, what it has the potential to do. All right, I believe if it had a two-sided uh, anvil, this would be a little bit more powerful and faster. So yeah, so I do think, you know, I will say this, this is quieter. It is a lot quieter than the other brands. That hammer drill is hot. The impact driver is uh, cool. Impact driver stayed cool, 106 degrees. Like I say with all videos that get first introduced into the channel, this was the test video to see, to see how well they perform. And yeah, uh, this is only with a three amp hour battery, so the performance might be different with a higher amp hour battery. So just based on the three amp hour battery, these, uh, this hammer drill is weak, but we'll put that further to the test with a bigger battery. And hopefully, Meta I gotta do more research on Metabo. Hopefully Metabo does, does make an 18 volt 21700 cell battery. So, so yeah, the impact driver's not bad though. It's not bad, but the hammer drill needs some work and it needs, it needs a handle. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It's just been the unboxing of the Metabo and Metabo first being int really introduced into this channel. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.